I want to thank Eufy for sponsoring this video. So video smart locks have come a long way and I had the opportunity to have the S330 from Eufy for about two years now and I made an original video on this that you can check out of my first initial impressions and all that. But Eufy reached out and said, hey, would you mind giving us some feedback on how you like this down the road? And since I've had it for all this time, since they had their initial Kickstarter campaign and you know some of the beta software and all that, my experience has changed quite a bit with this door lock and I wanna let you guys know all about this in this video. So let's get into it with what comes in the box and then the installation and go from there. So one of the first things that I liked about this device is how simple it is. Really, it just comes in like five pieces. You have the external piece that goes on the outside of your house that has the fingerprint system, it has you know a keypad on it, and of course it has the video so you can see what's going on outside and the emergency key just in case you can't get in. Then that connects on the inside to the back plate that has the battery in it and it has the physical deadbolt that opens and closes. Then of course you get the deadbolt to replace your old one that just works better with this system. And then you have the chime which is you know internal storage for your system in general. I think it can hold up to 128 gigabytes of storage, which is pretty cool. And then you have the 10,000 milliamp battery that charges via USB-C. Installation is also pretty straightforward because you really just need to take off your old deadbolt and get it out of the way, which was pretty simple for me. And then, you know, start to work on the new pieces, which inserting the new deadbolt was straightforward, putting the external piece on, it fit great on our door and it actually looks pretty cool as well. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. And then connect the inside piece and just kind of screw it all back together and then add the battery, and it really was easy to install. So, I mean, pretty much anyone can do this. There isn't any electrical that you have to contend with. You don't have to like connect it to your doorbell system. And there's an added benefit of this over a doorbell, which is that you can actually get into your house. You can unlock it remotely. So a lot of positives with very easy installation, and that's coming from someone who installs a lot of this stuff for a living. Now, the only thing that I had to do, which is above and beyond what they show you in the instructions, is that I had to dig in a little bit further where the deadbolt goes goals just because this deadbolt's a little longer. So that was one thing that I had to do in order to make this fit. But really, you typically run into things like this. And I think that this installation was very easy and very straightforward for how much that this doorbell is used and how much it protects our family. So another thing that I really like about this unit is the battery life. And at first that wasn't the case. So I got this back when the software was in beta and this was a new product. So the battery life was not good at first. In fact, it was only lasting a few days and we made that review without really understanding how long the battery life would last. However, after some software updates, I'd have to say that this battery lasts forever. It really lasts like three or four months at a time and we rarely charge it. So it's really a non-issue any longer. And I'm really impressed that something that seemed like it would have to be charged often really doesn't have to be. Now, there are certain things that affect battery life, like motion detection, if you have that on or off, or how intense that is, and also the video resolution. So if you're storing that footage and you want it in high resolution all the time, so those things will affect the battery life. But that brings me to another thing that I really like, which is the app itself. So the app has come a long ways. It was in beta when we got the product and it you know, was able to do most of the things that we wanted to get done. However, since then it has gotten so much better. Really, it just does all the things you'd expect it to do. I mean, you can let people in remotely. So if someone shows up to your house and they can't get in, you can physically open the door from your phone and let them in. The app also allows you to give quick responses. So if someone rings the doorbell to deliver something, you can just give them a message quickly so that they know that you got the package and just notifications in general to give you that motion detection or to tell you when someone enters or exits when the door is locked or unlocked and even who unlocks or locks it which brings me to my favorite feature of this entire product which is the fingerprint entry system now of course you can just type in a code which is one way or you can use the key but when you walk up to a door and you're able to just put your fingerprint up there and it opens that is awesome. And the same thing when you leave too. Fingerprint quickly, locks, you leave the house. So that is probably my favorite feature of this product. And you can set it up for multiple people. So my editor has his fingerprint on there. I do, my wife, the kids. It's very easy and straightforward to use. And of course, we can still give the keypad entry to those people who aren't gonna be coming as often, whether it be the cleaning lady or property manager or anyone else. And remember, if everything else fails, the battery is dead, you still have the keys to get into your house physically. So there's always that peace of mind. So overall, I'm a big fan of the Video Smart Lock S330. It's worked out really well for us. 
We love the fingerprint system. It's a very secure product for our security in general at our house, able to see the motion detection, able to see who's coming in, who's dropping off packages. And there actually is another product from Eufy, the E330, which is even less expensive than the S330. Now that does not come with the external chime. This has an internal chime and it has eight gigabytes of storage versus the 128 gigabytes of storage that was on the actual chime itself. So there's a little bit of difference there, but I think this would be good for a lot of people. You may not need that extra chime and you have the app, you have eight gigabytes of storage. And with the S330 and the chime, you actually have to buy an SD card in order to get that 128 gigs. So it seems a little bit easier with the E330, but that S330 definitely gives you more storage. And with either one of these devices, you can get cloud storage starting at $299 per month. So check the website out if that's something that you're interested in. And besides that, there's a lot of similarities. They both have the fingerprint entry, they both have the keypad, and then both of them do come with that 10K milliamp battery. And they both have the emergency key behind the doorbell chime, just in case the battery does run out. Now, the only difference besides the fact that you don't get the chime with the E330 is the waterproofing. I mean, the S330 says it's IP65, while the E330 is IP53, which really isn't much of a difference, to be honest. And I was considering putting the new E330 outside and replace my S330, but when looking Looking at the S330, it is literally taking no damage in two years. You know, it doesn't rain a ton in San Diego, but with regards to the rain, the weather changes, being out there, you know, where you can get maybe some dings and dents, it still looks brand new after two years. So I'm pretty impressed with that as well. And because I already have the chime set up and because it has the internal storage, I already bought the SD card, I'm gonna stick with the S330 myself. But I do think either one of these devices are fantastic for security, for knowing who's at your door, for letting people in the house when you need to. It's much more comprehensive than just having a doorbell. And installation took less time because I didn't even have to hardwire it. But overall, I'm a big fan of the S330 and this E330 also looks really cool for a lower price. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you have one of these doorbells already? Are you interested in getting one? If you are, then there's links in the description below for you to purchase them. And I wanna thank Eufy for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys on the next one.